All right, today we're gonna go over how the taste and preferences, or more specifically, a change in taste and preferences can change the supply and demand graph. So taste and preferences is one of the determinants of demand. And what that means is that it can shift demand. So basically we want to look at our classic demand curve just like that. And if we see a change in tastes and preferences, then we're going to see demand shift either left or right. It could potentially increase or the demand curve could shift left, which shows us a decrease in demand. So let's look at some examples of changes in tastes and preferences. Uh, so I think the classic example, you could look at apples and maybe apples are discovered to cure cancer. Now granted it may not be very realistic, but you can imagine if apples were discovered to cure cancer, that is going to definitely increase the preferences for apples. People will enjoy them a lot more and we will see an increase in demand. So what would that look like? in our supply and demand graph. Again, we have quantity and price. We have demand and supply. An increase in demand would cause that to shift right. You can see that this is our initial equilibrium. And this is going to be our new equilibrium. And so what happens to equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity? they both go up. So if apples are discovered to cure cancer, as we would expect, the price is gonna go way up because demand increased and equilibrium quantity will also go up because of that increase in demand. Uh, so what's another example? Let's say LeBron James endorses Nike. Again, we would imagine the taste and preferences for Nike products to go up. This will cause the equilibrium price to go up and the equilibrium quantity to go up as well. So what are some other tastes and preferences? Uh, imagine that a new virus only affects Samsung phones. Or a more realistic example could be that the new Samsung Galaxy Note catches on fire and so people are afraid of it. You can imagine that if the tastes and preferences, because you don't want a phone that catches on fire, would decrease for having that type of phone. So do you want a phone that's likely to catch on fire? No. So you see a decrease in demand, the taste and preferences reduced, we have our original equilibrium price and quantity, and then we have our new equilibrium price and quantity. So the equilibrium price goes down. You see a lot of sales for those phones that are catching on fire, and equilibrium quantity also goes down because many people are no longer buying that phone because they're afraid that it'll catch on fire. So that's just a little bit of an example of how changes in tastes and preferences can affect the demand curve and the resulting supply and demand graph.